Today we are going to talk about properties of exponents. So first we are going to look at multiplying two powers with the same base. And if we have example of a to the fifth times a to the second power, for the per first part of that problem, a to the fifth, that means that we have a being used as a factor five times. For the second part of the problem, we have a being used as a factor two times. You know that factors are numbers that multiply each other. Now, when we look here, we have total of a being used as a factor seven times. So we have final answer as a to the seventh power. And how we can get that quicker is just look at the exponents, add them up, and uh, we have the final answer. So to multiply powers with the same base, we simply add their exponents. So look at some examples. Number one is 2 to the third times 2 to the fourth. So we add 3 and 4, and we have 2 to the seventh power. Negative 3 to the seventh times negative 3 to the second. Negative 3 is being used as a factor seven times. Here, two times, which would be total of nine times. Number three, x to the fifth times x to the third power. So x is being here used as a factor five times. Here as a factor three times, that is the total as x to the eighth power. So we have it used as a factor eight times five plus three equal eight. Now let's look at this one, three to the fifth times five to the third. So what we have here, 3 is being used as a factor 5 times. And then we have 5 being used as a factor 3 times. But I can't combine anything because 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 5. I can't put anything together because we have different bases. If we have different bases, that it's not possible to simplify this kind of problem using powers. Now, we could evaluate how much is 3 to the fifth power and how much is 5 to the third power and then multiply them out. But we cannot simplify using powers. Now, let's look at division. So we are dividing two powers, a to the 6 divided by 8 to the second power. What we have here at the top of the fraction, we have a being used as a factor six times, and as at the bottom, use it being used as two times, as a factor two times. So now you know that every time you have a fraction and the same number at the top and the bottom, denominator and numerator, you actually can simplify them. Three over three is the same as three divided by three, so that's one. And that's the case here. Also, so a and a can be simply can be canceling each other out and make as one, and a over a another pair will cancel each other out and make it a one. So what we have, we have left a being used as a factor four times. So that's final answer a to the fourth power. But when we look at original problem, if we take exponents exponent on, of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator, that would give us the final answer. So to divide powers with the same base, we simply subtract the exponent of the denominator from the exponent of the numerator. Let's look at some examples. 7 to the fifth divided by 7 to the third, we take 5 minus 3, the exponents, and we have 7 to the second power. Number 2, negative 8 to the second power divided by negative 8. Now, every time we see a number with no exponent, it's actually an exponent of 1. So that would be negative 8 to 2 minus 1, which gives us negative 8 to the first power, which is equal to negative 8. The third example, x to the eighth divided by x to the second power, we subtract the exponents and we have x to the sixth power. The last problem here, we have a to the fifth over b to the fourth, which means we have a being multiplied by itself five times uh, in the numerator 
and b multiplied by itself four times in the denominator, but I have nothing the same at the top and the bottom, so I can't cancel anything, so not possible to simplify because we have different bases. Every time you have a different basis, you can't simplify using exponents. What happens when we raise power to a power now? So here we are. We have 6 to the second power, and we want to raise all of that to the third power. And what does that mean? That means that 6 to the second power is being used as a factor three times. Now, when we look at each part here, 6 to the second power means 6 times 6, and then we have another 6 times 6, and another 6 times 6, and we see that 6 is being used as a factor total six times. So 6 to the sixth power would be the final answer. But then when we look back into origin starting point, we notice if we take exponent and multiply by this exponent, we will get that 6. So to raise a power to a power, we simply multiply the exponent. So 5 to the third risen to the fourth power would be the same as 5 to 3 times 4, which is 12, 5 to the 12th power. So now here is example 1. 4 to the third risen to the fifth power. We multiply 3 and 5, and we have 4 to the 15th power. x to the seventh power risen to the third power. We multiply the exponents, and we have x to the 21st power. The next example, a to the 4th power risen to the 2nd power. We multiply 4 and 2, we have a to the 8th power.